There are over 150 new features in Felix Suite 2013 and TL Firm and TL Database and TL Corporate. First, the, the preview area width is now properly drag resizable using the mouse. Then the search and replace and find dialog contains many new improvements, including a search across entry as XML mode, a search across entry as formatted text mode, which allows you to search the generated output that appears in the preview, and a new special compare search, which allows you to compare the value of one field to the value of another and search based on that with numerous com compare operators. There are also a new list all matching values button and tag all and untag all buttons. Searcher 3 contains a number of improvements including a new use filters checkbox option as well as proper multi-page search results, uh, the ability to tag and untag search results straight from search result window, and several other options including field breakdown, tag, untag, filter, and, and usual filter, and F2 filter. The search filter now forms part of something called a new feature called custom user filters. When you create a search filter, this looks small as we know. When you create a custom search window, which gets added to the F5 filter list of filters, and uh, you can, there's now a special filter condition for my search, and every search you apply as a filter will get added here. And you can use it just like you can use any other filter condition. This allows you to combine searches with other filter conditions or with other search conditions. It also allows you to use the filter go to next, go to next, or edit next filter match control G to very quickly jump from search result to search. Many other filters in the system are also part of this custom users filters, including many of the statistics filters. While we're in filters, new advanced filter element actions option allows you to run actions on elements that match the filter condition, including delete, can't see them now, they're slightly off screen. Delete all matching elements, delete text child name from all matching elements. And it's quite powerful, you can run a Lua script on all matching nodes. Luckily those are advanced, it's advanced functionality. Filter also uh, now has tag matches and untag matches buttons to uh, be more integrated with the tagging system. Still on the filter, a new filter option node intersection allows you when you have more than one condition ticked to find specific elements, to easily find specific elements that match multiple conditions. Uh, there's a new sample filter option explanation, explanation that explains this. A new tabbed window mode. Uh, the plant, the old expanded view mode, uh, window use tab window mode, uh, and in tab window mode in a bilingual document, each section, we still have, if we go out of expanded view, we still have our usual side by side bilingual view, uh, but in tab window mode, each of, when you're in expanded view, then each of the sections appears as a tab, much like tab browsing. Uh, this has numerous advantages over the old system and allows us to create multi-section documents including documents with uh, dozens of sections contained within them.
a new auto sort elements tool tools auto sort auto sort elements allows us to automatically alphabetically sort all instances of a particular uh, element type such as all sub entries here I've automatically sorted all instantly automatically sorted alphabetically sorted all sub entries in the dictionary the new entry uh, dialog now has an option to uh, multiple entries at once new commands there are now new commands also that allows you to easily promote and demote entries to sub entries and vice versa so yeah we have draw the line as a separate entry we want to make it a sub entry of draw we can take a bit tag it select draw right click and cut and paste tag the entry as sub entry and draw the line entry is now a sub entry of draw likewise we can simply click on it and say promote the main entry again and uh, with the main entry again. Short term has a number of improvements, including that the uh, term list at the left now also shows you the translations of the term in other, the other languages so that we can very easily see uh, which term you're dealing with. Uh, this is especially helpful when you have synonyms. Uh, and it also now shows uh, synonyms as in the second entry onwards as references cross automatically generated simple cross reference entries to a main entry. Uh, whether or not this happens is controlled through various settings which are now available through this config button where you can enable or disable display of second synonym onwards as a reference. Uh, as well as explain various other options such as arrow. And another new option in TL Term is Columns Mode, and this is particularly useful in the RTF output. Other important uh, improvements to TL Term include improvements to the CBX importer. There are also many improvements to TL Corpus, uh, some of which include the new file export character diagrams, file export word engrams, C3, 4, and 5. Uh, they also added support for many different file formats, uh, EPUB formats, ODT, Open Document Text, Mobi, EPUB, CHM files, and Fiction Book, and several more. Then the online publishing exporter publishes to Telex online system that has many, many new improvements including that we now have a sophisticated instant publishing system where you can, uh, the editors can immediately publish updates to the website uh, as well as other improvements such as a uh, much simpler, much easier ability to um, publish, be able to publish multiple titles to a website and the titles don't have to share the same DCP. Uh, so improvements to the sorting system, which we can see the sorting is that uh, the configurable sorting now, table based configurable sorting now properly handles uh, digraph characters. So, for example, tool can be treated as uh, orthographical, a single orthographical unit, and all the variants uh, configured in the sorting system. Uh, other improvements include uh, some improvements to the replace as you type system uh, with new new characters as well as uh, header categories. Uh, compare merge has numerous improvements, including that the add button now works properly with multi selections. Uh, there's also a new select all button to select all items in the list. Uh, the settings include a new Strict attribute type comparison uh, for uh, advanced users, 
uh, and in some cases for fixed node, fixed node as well, it just shows the position within fixed and so it's just input. Exporter is the uh, text exporter and I includes an option to uh, export all style sets. Export uh, the document automatically, versions of the document in all sets of styles that are available. And the RTF exporter has a number of improvements, a number of improvements and new options, including options to split into n files or files of n entries each. A new edit copy entry XML command allows you to quickly copy the XML of the current entry to the set for DTB editing. There are many improvements as far as DTB editing, editing is concerned, including styles editing. Uh, a new New right click options allowing you to copy child element text or easily copy attribute map. Uh, there is also some very handy new synchronized output order in style option. If you right click in the right child element uh, in, in the editing attribute list, there's a number of useful new load and save and copy options. Uh, and also, if you uh, Making a lot of changes to a DTB, there is a new tool, bulk element or attribute rename, which allows you to easily rename uh, a whole lot of elements and, and or attributes at once. The new tools menu, load styles and save styles, and save current style set also allow you to load and save sets uh, of styles. Makes it easier when transferring styles between documents. Uh, there is also a new edit invert tag, which just inverts the current tag set option. Um, and related to the character information tool, also a link to shape capture, an external tool that allows you to try to find a Unicode character by drawing it in a box. Uh, there are many new statistics options to do. Uh, for statistics, there are many new statistics, types of statistics, and more detailed statistics, and more statistical features, and more detailed uh, element detail statistics. Uh, then, if you are using smart references together with Mart, there is also a new, uh, new real time error check and a new filter cross reference to. Uh, mouse type entries that can help you find cross references to entries that are not included but are marked by the current style set. Yeah, there are, there are many more, but that's a summary of the major new features. If you want to see a more detailed list, open the start page, close the current document to get to the start page, click on the help tab, and click on change log, what's new, list of new features in each release that includes a, that shows a much more detailed list uh, and there is also links to uh, our frequently asked questions, user guide, uh, technical support and tutorial videos. Thank you.